Okay, today is February 17th and yesterday my surgery got cancelled because my foot hurt and I ended up in the ER getting it checked out but it was fine and they rescheduled it for today so everything else filmed was from yesterday, we're not redoing all that. They're getting me in right away so I should go in probably within the next couple of minutes and... I'm just happy to get it over with. Yay! I'm already close. I just want you to stand first and then we'll fix the building. Get your feet to feet the ground and get your land legs on before we do anything else. You're covered. Yes. How does standing feel? Mm -hmm. My hand is full, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want me to go on your left side for support instead of the right? Wherever you want me to stand. Let me just get the eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk down the hall. And then when you come across, I'll put you in the bathroom. Let me stand this side or the other guy. Today's January 17th and I just had surgery today. I got released from the hospital and we're back at the hotel here in New York City. Uh, obviously it hurts but I've had worse so I'm glad that the pain is tolerable but then again I bet I haven't came off any of the pain medication from the hospital so I guess we'll wait and see. Um, I was really worried about my nose, which from this angle it looks really good now, but I see that the growth is still in there and really seems bothered on this side, so I don't know what it is yet because I haven't had a chance to talk to the doctor and if I did, I don't remember, um, but it seems that they worked on that and they cut from here to here. This part of my lip feels a little pulled up, so that would be really cool if it was. Uh, my scar that's really tight, uh, it seems like they did some work on that because it's cut here to here. Uh, the scar was really bumpy, bumpy and horrible, so that looks really good. I'm happy about that. Again, I have the sigoid scar. It looks like they were able to thin that out a lot by cutting it out and pulling my skin up and sewing the better skin together. And there was a big scar right here. It looks like they were able to cut that. And they injected it 
with some things so that hopefully this tight, tight, uh, I think it's called like a keloid scar will go down. And you can see the laser surgery that they did over the scars. Um, they said they were gonna remove this part of the AVM, but it looks like they didn't do it. I'm not quite sure why. Um, sometimes they do more than what they tell me they're gonna do, and sometimes they do less. So I guess it just depends on what's going on when they put me out and really get a chance to look around. But um, I don't know. I guess the most painful part for me right now is right here. I don't feel this too much right now. But yeah, we're at the hotel and everything's going good. I went into surgery feeling really positive and just really happy to get it over with. I know the faster we get it done, the faster I get out, the faster I heal, and the faster I get to go home to see my family. I should be able to see them on March 1st. I miss my kids so much. I, I have a doctor's appointment in one week and everything went really good. I'm smiling on the inside. <laughs> Dustin just went to go get us some doll soup. I think that would be easy to eat and I'm really hungry. But yeah, God's always with me. He never leaves my side. I'm so happy that I was able to remember this because a few weeks, uh, like up until like the last week of, or no, the last couple of days of when I left, I just felt really heavy and really scared and really sad and depressed, honestly. And prayer lifted that, made me feel confident, and just my faith is just. Faith is the best thing ever. You just gotta know in your heart that God's there with you and Jesus loves you. And I know he wouldn't bring me this far just to let me down. But, uh, please if anyone can, share my GoFundMe page. It's such a, a crazy amount just to come here and stay here and have the surgeries done. I know I have, if I had to guess, I'd say 10 to 10 plus surgeries in order to go. I have a lot to go. It's not cheap. Uh, it's gofundme.com slash Jennifer Hiles, my name. So I'll put that below. I just thank you guys for your support and your prayers and I'll update again when I feel a bit better. God bless you guys. Thank you.